Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. Today we are going to learn how to change the width of columns or bars in SSRS report. We will learn how to create a column chart and then we are going to play with some properties such as a point width, point, a pixel point width, max pixel point width and min pixel point width. And we will see the impact of those properties on the width of columns or the bar. So let me take you to SSMS and then show you the query. So here we have a select query that is select an item sold country region. And uh, let's uh, copy this query and go ahead and create our chart. Now in the reports, uh, I already have uh, uh, SSRS project open in SSDT SQL Server data tools. Uh, click on the reports uh, and add and then new item. Click on the report item here and provide the name. So I'm going to call this one width and the chart column. Empty report will be created. You will be clicking on uh, data sources. Uh, right click here, add data source, uh, and then here you will be providing uh, the name. Uh, we call it this one DS Sales. Uh, and use share data source uh, as a reference. Uh, so here we will, we will be calling uh, or using uh, the share data source. Uh, in our case, it is sales. Uh, share data source is a good practice to use uh, when you are creating multiple reports from the same database. Uh, it helps in deployment. Uh, and uh, you have to make very less changes uh, uh, when you have only one or two data share data sources. Instead, uh, you have uh, uh, embedded data sets in the report. Uh, so for each of the report, then you have to make changes when you deploy them. Hit OK and then go to data set right click add data set now provide the name of the data set let's call this one dset sales and now click on the use data set embedded in my report select the data source paste your query here hit ok now right click here and insert a chart in our case we will be selecting a column chart hit ok now move your chart on the left and let's make this one a little big so we can see the things double click here and in the values you will be selecting the field which bring in the numbers or we are doing the sum on that so in our case it is item sold and in the category so we have on the x-axis a b c d e f and here i'm going to select the region so now this is good preview your report this looks great but one thing we would like to do we would like to make the width of these uh, bars or columns uh, narrow so we want to make them slim let's go ahead and uh, try that now first of all you will be clicking on these uh, bars and then press f4 that will take you to the property now in the properties uh, we will look for custom attributes uh, click on that one and here you see the point width so that's the uh, property that can uh, handle that uh, so let's start with something uh, right now it is a uh, 0.8 and if I will go for 0.5 uh, what will happen uh, these uh, bars will uh, or columns will get slim uh, and next uh, if I will uh, change to 0.3 they're gonna or 0.4 they will be more slimmer so you can see that now as of uh, now they're really slim now you can go to the different uh, again we will be going to properties and uh, custom attributes uh, and here you can go to maybe point one if you write like really really slim and uh, that's how they will look like uh, now if uh, we would like them thick, uh, how we would do that go to the custom uh, attributes again and in the point width uh, let's increase to the point nine so that will increase a whole lot uh, now as you see that uh, I can go ahead and let's try 0.99 what happened then they are really close and some of them are kind of merged with each other so now if I will preview my report uh, I see a very small distance between these bars so if I will go beyond 0.99 they should they will be merged with the or overlapped with each other so let's uh, let me change one or let's say maybe we will go to in this case uh, you can see that they are really overlapped with each other let's preview the report now and uh, as of now we can't really tell like uh, okay they're all merged now if uh, I will go ahead and increase the size of my chart uh, let's see if that helps so if we will increase the size of our chart uh, that's uh, not really helping uh, but let's see if we will make it more bigger and uh, that will help so right now they're merged and I have increased uh, really 
this is pretty big size though. and now we will try still we see that uh, it's not uh, uh, given us uh, the bars or columns as separate even I have increased the size uh, so let's go back uh, with these properties uh, and now instead of two let's change to the one and see what happen so now we have one and here in the preview still uh, we they are not separated uh, so if you go beyond uh, 0.99 uh, they, then they are going to be overlapped uh, with each other and even increasing the size of this chart is not going to help uh, so let me press ctrl z few times and come back to the same point uh, where we started uh, so here now this is the one of the property we learn a uh, point width uh, that uh, start with the we, we can start with point one and go with point nine nine and uh, then that can, can give us uh, some uh, leverage to increase or decrease the size of these uh, columns now that's one property now let's go back and uh, set that property to the original uh, value so let's uh, go back here and now I have point eight and now there will be just normal chart and as you can see there is a proper distance between these columns and the width is good and now let's go back uh, to these property and there is another property we are not touching a point width as uh, point uh, width uh, anymore now we are going to play with the pixel point width so if uh, I will set this one to the let's say one or two you might not uh, let's see it will start with the one so you have really thin line when you have one and then you can go beyond that so now let me go back here and we are still there customer attributes and this is a again you can play with this one let's say we set to five you can see it is increasing the width and then we can set to 10 it is increasing and now let's say I go to 20 so in 20 this one let's see I go to 50 so they are coming close now if I will see or preview the report they are uh, pretty thick and uh, but I want a little more thick so I want to increase the width more so let me go back and change this one to the 50 maybe we'll do 60 or 70 let's do 70 now these pixel point width uh, now they are overlapping so let's go back here and see still uh, in the in the actual they were overlapped when uh, in the design but in the preview they are just uh, fine so now we let's let's go ahead and uh, do one more time maybe instead of 70 let's see if we can increase a little more we can go 100 maybe or 80 so let's go 80 now they are overlapped so that's the one thing if you will go to some level they will be overlapped with each other now if uh, I will remember uh, one thing I was doing uh, last time I was increasing the size of the chart uh, with the point width and it did not help uh, now with the this property if uh, we have set the value and then uh, we increase the size of the chart uh, let's see if that helps uh, and I can see right now it is uh, separating those uh, uh, bars or columns uh, so looks like it will work uh, not uh, the first time when we did uh, for let me show you that property remember the first time uh, where did the property go so, okay we click here and then here custom attributes okay so when uh, we were playing with the point width uh, and we set to two we were not able to separate them uh, now we are playing with the pixel point width and we set to 80 they were op overlapped uh, and uh, we increase the size of the chart and uh, we are going to take a look on preview and uh, we can see that uh, with increasing the size of the chart uh, these uh, bars uh, are separated uh, again uh, so th that you can play with this property that will work for you but uh, at one point if they will overlap then you have to increase the size of the chart uh, uh, to make them uh, separate now with uh, another property let's say we set back this one to the zero let me press ctrl z few times so come we come back again so let's uh, we are started with one now this is good now let's go back to the property and uh, press f4 so we have custom properties attributes uh, custom attributes here 0.8 and everything was set to zero at that point now we are going to play with the max 
pixel point width and min pixel uh, point width and see if uh, you know, how that works so right now we are set we have set the point width to point eight. that's by default and now what I would like to do I would like to increase this one to maybe 20 and you see that the 20 is actually making them slimmer so zero is the default but when we start with one two three that's how they will be increasing so now I will set let's say this 50 so this is the max and then we have uh, last time we went to 80 so this is 80 now if you see that even I change to 80 these are not overlapped so let's go back here and uh, take a look uh, so we it is just coming fine uh, but we have done 80 and uh, it's not even uh, uh, doing anything so in the pixel point with when we did 80 it was overlapped right away so let me show you right that one and uh, pixel point width if we did 80 remember it overlapped right away so this uh, property max pixel point uh, when we set to 80 this is not really doing anything it is increasing uh, the width though but it's not uh, overlapping uh, so we have to work with the min pixel width uh, here let's set this one to the 50 and now you can see that uh, it start working again now let's say if I will set this one to the 80 and this one to 110 uh, now they will be relatively high and they will overlap so you have to set the min pixel point width and the max to work together so they will be overlapped here as you can see they were overlapped now now if I would like to go ahead and make them separate I'm not sure if that will work but I'm gonna enlarge or make my chart a little bigger so see if these properties will let me separate these columns or bars so as we can see that uh, by increasing the size of the chart uh, and uh, setting the property min and max uh, pixel width uh, they, they we were able to handle uh, or uh, make them separated uh, we can play with the let me go back here and uh, show you one more thing here so let's say if I set this one to zero again the main one what happened now I can uh, and uh, let's say I make nine for this one so I can play with the max pixel point width with combination of point width or I can play with the max pixel point with the combination of min pixel width so I have to uh, make arrangements uh, with the if I'm playing with this property I have to play with uh, include this property or I have to include this property to uh, to change the word accordingly so I can't really just make a hundred here and uh, let's say if I will change this one to the um, point eight so if I will change this one point eight and this one will be um, if I'm not uh, making any changes uh, then uh, they are not really um, increasing the word or decreasing the word so in other words uh, I have to have make a uh, changes to the min pixel uh, point width or I have to play with the a uh, point with when I'm playing with the max uh, pixel pointer property so now let's go ahead and preview this uh, report so this is coming correct and uh, if we go back here and uh, now we are gonna set this one to let's say 50 now we set to 50 and uh, this will make this uh, slimmer so um, what you learn from here actually you have to play with these properties uh, you know that okay point width can do pretty much a lot of things for you this can increase or decrease the width uh, and uh, then uh, you can play with the the pixel point width uh, that's also that will also help uh, and uh, then uh, you have a max uh, pixel point width that will work with main pixel width and point width uh, so uh, or sorry so one of them so you will work with this one and point width or you will work with this one and this one so they will work in a combination but uh, what I see I, I would like to just play with this a point width or I would like to play with the pixel point width uh, to adjust the, the width of my columns so thanks very much for watching this video and I hope uh, this was uh, helpful I will see you guys in the next video